Today we're talking about how to think like an artist. So I have this picture and I'm gonna put it on the screen, but I have this picture where it's just trash, it's garbage. I have a specific memory of it because as I was taking the picture and this Jeep pulls up and I hear in the distance, he's taking a picture of trash. And when I look over, everybody's looking at me and the dude in the front kind of like shakes his head and rolls his eyes like, you know, if you're creative, you kind of always have got this where somebody's just like, that's so stupid. That's bullshit. You know, something like that along the lines of that. So I have that specific memory. And the more I think about it, the more I kind of come up with a reason that is or just how important it is to have perspective, to understand other people and the way they are going about life. I just think about it in that sort of way, because to them, I'm taking a picture of garbage. But for me, I literally was in my car. I saw and I kind of was like, oh, that would be a great image. And then I saw it. I parked my car. I walked over there and took pictures. You know, something compelled me to actually take pictures of what seemingly is garbage. And yeah, I know it is garbage. It literally was trash. But that's what I mean by how do we think like an artist? How do we think of concepts? Because there's something in me that I knew that if I take a picture of this, it would be interesting because of the composition, what is in it. You know what I mean? To them, I'm looking at trash and they're just like, OK, it's trash to me. And again, I'm going to put the picture on the screen. It's a box that says future and it's like thrown towards the garbage. Now, us thinking like an artist, we're going to be like, OK, what does this mean? Why is this conceptual? Why did I feel compelled to get out of my car and take a picture of it? because it says future and it's on trash. So it kind of brings up conversation of sustainability. It brings up questions on is our future, what is our future gonna be like if we continue on the path that we are right now with waste? It makes me think of all the efforts that brands are putting into their eco packaging and whatever, but us as the consumers, us as consumers aren't putting in those steps to actually like recycle. It brings up the question of recycling. Is it even useful? It put, brings up of greenwashing everything. You know, it just brings up all these different concepts, all these different topics that art is supposed to make you think about. And that's the reason why I saw something more than just trash. I saw a concept, I saw meaning. And that's really how you should be thinking about things as a creative person. It's not just black and white. It's like, what's the meaning behind it? Why is this interesting? Why is that there? And for me, of course, I didn't put it like that. It was just like that when on the side of the street when I pulled up. But if you are creating art, you have to think about why you put something there. What is the intention behind it? And that's where art kind of derives from. You're intentionally putting things there because there is a meaning, because the viewer is going to pick up on that and you want them to have a certain reaction to it or derive a, f a meaning from it, you know? If I saw another photographer taking that picture, I would look at it and be like, I wonder why he's taking a picture and try to think of it in that way. But to a bystander that doesn't really think like that, they're just gonna be like, <laughs> he's taking a picture of trash. Again, you know, that's like con thinking conceptually. The truth of the matter is everything starts from a concept. Everything that you use on a day-to-day -day basis was con uh, concepted by a creative. Wanna take it like this, movies, movies aren't any way accidental when people read into movies and they say you're reading into it too much no they're not you're not because in movies every single thing is crafted by somebody who was hired to do that specific thing and they're thinking about they're thinking about the concept they're thinking about the director's vision they're thinking about what the viewer is going to take from it they're all taking their own perspective of their craft and potentially putting things into frame taking out of frame lighting a certain way putting certain colors, all of it is intentional. And that's something that a lot of us as filmmakers need to know. Movies, TV shows, music videos, whatever it is, everything for the most part is intentional, even like this phone. So in the 50s, 40s, being able to talk to somebody on a device that you're holding was sci-fi. People probably would laugh if you were to say that we were gonna be doing this in 50 years. Even as early as 2000, when the internet was coming to arise, people were like, the internet's just a fad. It's just the next thing. It's just a trend. It's going to be gone in five, 10 years. Now look at where the internet is. All this stuff was derived from somebody's imagination, something that they saw that nobody else did. And the reason we are where we are today is because that person 
they kept on developing and innovating and going with their concept. Even though people laugh, even though people talked about them, even people called them crazy, they just kept on going, going, and going. And we end up where we are today. So, like I said, when people laugh at you, if you are doing something, nobody sees the vision. As long as you see the vision and you know where you're going, that's all that really matters. It doesn't matter if uh, you get people laughing at you. It doesn't matter if people talk about you. It doesn't matter if it's not even that clear in your head. If you are working towards something, if you know that it is the right path, it is the right path. And I'm kind of getting off topic, but yeah. All right, y'all. See you on the next one. Bye.